All right, so this year on Christmas, you're really trying to keep a budget. Whether you're trying to get out of debt, or you're trying to make changes, or you're trying to invest, or you just can't afford it. Today, we're gonna give you some free, free, free ideas for really, really, really cheap ideas that you can do for Christmas to still be a blessing to others. This is Jay and Jen from Epic. Empower people, empower change. Where we give you proven financial tips and methods as well as help you to live a plant-based healthy lifestyle. All right, so a little background story. When we were working on trying to really conquer our debt, we had to shrink Christmas gifts a lot, okay? But we had to communicate with our family like, look, hey, this is what we're trying to do in our lives. So this is, just bear with us. We're gonna give you like Christmas cards or we're gonna do these things for you until we're able to change our position. Now, I wanna say our family, they were fine with it. They supported us 100%. I know that might be a challenge for some of you out there. And as we mentioned in another video, you know that's a communication that you need to make with your family as well as it's temporary. So today we're gonna load you up with a few ideas there's at least one of them you could probably do. One of them mm -hmm. that will help you this Christmas or next Christmas or however many Christmases and birthdays you have to go until your financial position changes. Or maybe you want to stay like this forever. I don't know. That's on, that's on you. Your choice. All right. So idea number one. Babysitters. Yes. That will take your time and your energy, but it's free. Yes. <laughs> So, I mean, money-wise, it is free, but yes, it will take your time and your effort and energy, but it would be a great blessing if you could babysit your friends or family's kids. Yes. All right, so where could you put this babysitting idea? You could actually create a coupon booklet with maybe like five times through 20 whatever year it is, or 30 whatever year it is, and put a couple in there for a booklet. You might have a friend that rarely gets out on dates or social events, can't even get out for anything because they don't have a babysitter. Offer that to them. As a mom, I would love that. Mm -hmm. All right? Awesome. Yes. <laughs> so, you know how I just mentioned coupons? There are so many different things you can actually stick in your coupon book, which can just be a couple pieces of paper. And I'm saying. <laughs> but, so another thing you can do is cleaning. Yes. You could offer to clean your family or your friend's house, or maybe just the kitchen, maybe the living room, or whatever, your their bedroom, whatever. You could stick this in a coupon book or just offer it in a card or something and offer that service as a Christmas gift. As a working parent or a working person with kids, trust me, that is an awesome gift. Make sure you put an expiration date on that because I think you start getting bigger houses now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, next. You could chauffeur somebody for their date night or someplace they're trying to go. It doesn't have to be 300 mile, 400 mile trip. Just maybe for the evening, if you got enough gas in the car, mm -hmm. take them around a the block, take them to wherever they want to go. They won't have to drive. They can chill in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Chauffeur somebody, not to be mixed up with a chauffeur. Good point. <laughs> Everybody loves a little time to smooch in the back seat. If you know what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> Here's a creative idea for all you comic book nerds or anybody who's ever seen a comic book or if you like the franchises or anything like that. You can create your own comic book and put your kid in it as the main character. Make a story, like five, ten pages. Make it creative. You can think of something. Just. It doesn't have to be the fanciest type of drawing. Just put them in there. If it's if it's like not your family or friends, if it's your own children, you create that for them. I'm pretty sure they will love that. Another idea is fix something. Yes, please do. Yes. Please do. <laughs> something. If you are a handy person, whether you are a man or a woman, yes, trust you. me on this, okay? Your friends, your family members, don't want to pay a hundred dollars for someone to come assess their plumbing or assess the door that broke and if you know how to do that stuff offer that so a disclaimer for fixing somebody's stuff if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> and you just youtube it on the way over there thinking you can do it i wouldn't do it we are not encouraging you to make 
more of a disaster of the yes. problem, okay? Yes. Make sure you're actually skilled at what you're saying you're going to do. Something that you feel comfortable doing and confident in. I'm not telling you to pay for the cost of the materials, but you'll provide the services to actually fix it and probably know what to actually buy to fix it. Yeah. And that'll help your friends and your family out. And that, again, is free for your time. And it's something that you can offer as a gift. So another thing is car detailing. All right. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can just give them back to the coupons. Hey, you give them a couple coupons. Hey, I'll wash mm -hmm. your car. Or just one time, you can wash their car for them. Yes. It's a service. It'll take time away from them. It'll yes. bless them, especially if they're service oriented. They like those kind of gifts. And it, hopefully, they'll appreciate something like that. Yeah. So, another idea is if you're skilled at something, I know I just mentioned about fixing something. That's a skill. Whatever service that you may be good at, maybe you can offer that as a gift. That's like if you're a photographer. You could do a free mm -hmm. session for them or a short session. Yeah. So it doesn't break too much of your business if that's mm -hmm. not what you're trying to do. Or you, if you're a musician, you could maybe make a song for them. That'll be creative, a short yeah. song about but, what they mean to you and things like yeah, that. Yeah, or about their family. Put something together for their yeah, family. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Maybe someone has a couple kids or even an adult that's in college and you can tutor them once or twice on a, in a subject matter. Also, what you can do is if you do have a skill, you can teach them something that you know. Maybe mm -hmm. you do have a car detailing business and you're good at it. You can show them how to detail their own car. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you teach piano lessons. You can teach them, okay, I'll give your kids like a couple free piano lessons yeah. on me. And that'll be the Christmas gift. Like you have you have some skill. You have some ability. You have something that you can show them or bless them. Here's another idea. Maybe you have something laying around the house that you haven't used that you thought you were going to use. You said you were going <laughs> to use, but you didn't use it. All right? Ten years later. <laughs> So maybe they could benefit off it. Maybe it's still partially used or hasn't been touched at all. Mm -hmm. And it will be a blessing to whoever can utilize it. Or maybe there's something that they keep borrowing that you don't really use that you don't mind giving anyway. And lastly, let's talk about something we mentioned in our other video, which is really low cost. You can buy a, a lot of cards for very low cost, collectible cards. Or use some of your own materials at home. Very true. But you can just fill out card, Christmas cards for your family, your friends, and put some very deep, uh, meaningful yes. words in them about what this year has been for you, how they've impacted mm -hmm. your life, what things you look forward to in the next year, whatever it may be, just make sure that it's passion filled. Words are powerful. And when they're used in a loving manner as this, they could actually change someone's life. And the cool thing is that's something they can keep and pass on for like, they can look at it later on like five years, 10 years, 20 years down the line and just remember those thoughts that you had about them. Mm -hmm. As well as don't wait for the funeral or the, to say something nice about somebody. Mm -hmm. You could do it right now. Absolutely. So those are our ideas for Christmas giving when you really don't have a Christmas budget this time. Or you can do that for birthdays. You can do that for any kinds of gifts. Absolutely. If you feel like you can't afford it, it's going to mess up your whole financial plan. Stay on task, focus on those goals. You can do this. Yes, but do it with wisdom. Wisdom. Be sure to watch our other videos where we're trying to empower you towards great financial success yes. as well as healthy plant-based living. Let us know in the comments what ideas do you have that could possibly benefit someone else or that you've done in the past to be creative mm -hmm. and you didn't have the money to do a lot or anything. We would love to hear from you. Absolutely. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below so we can continue to empower you. Remember, empower people. Empower change. change.